This is the most damaging headline Kamala will ever receive, to the point this could ruin her campaign for good. Therefore, this may be the most important video I've ever made. Kamala Harris has just been proven to have received the debate questions in advance in an affidavit. Uh, assurances Trump would be fact-checked in the debate, assured specific questions wouldn't be asked of her, and given pretty much every accommodation they asked for to prop her up and make her look good. An ABC whistleblower who worked at ABC News for 10 years just released the affidavit. And let me give you a brief summary on it. The whistleblower relays that it is common knowledge that debate moderators as well as the CEO are well known not to support Donald Trump. He believes that ABC no longer adheres to impartiality, the influences of commercial interests and substantial donors appear to affect news presentation resulting in selective reporting and biased narratives. I mean, we knew that. He has personally witnessed news stories being cut from programming due to the influence of certain corporations linked to our parent company. And so regarding the debate, the Harris campaign received particular accommodations, including a podium significantly smaller than Trump, assurances regarding split screen television views that would favorably impact Harris's appearance relative to Trump. Trump would be receiving fact checks. In fact, many staff members were assigned to fact check observations it was perceived Trump would make during the debate. There were multiple communications related to the Harris campaign on the assurance of Trump being fact-checked. The Harris campaign had numerous more calls than the Trump campaign, and any debate rules or information should have been communicated to both sides, and they were not. The Harris campaign were given sample questions that, while not exactly the exact questions, similar topics that would appear during the debate. Furthermore, the Harris campaign imposed restrictions on the scope of the questions, including no questions on the perceived health of Joe Biden, no inquiries related to her tenure as attorney general in San Francisco, no questions concerning her brother-in-law, Tony, who faces allegations of embezzling billions of dollars in taxpayer funds and who may be involved in her administration if elected. The whistleblower goes on to stating that he secretly recorded several conversations that would prove the Harris campaign insisted on not only fact-checking Trump, but insisted on questions not being asked. This is a lot to unpack, but really the affidavit speaks for itself and exactly what we predicted. Kamala Harris cheated in the debate by getting questions in advance, had biased moderators fact-checking Trump, softball questions to the max, the list goes on, but I didn't need this affidavit to know this. If you looked at yesterday's interview with Kamala Harris, who finally did a legit interview, she wasn't able Able to answer a single question and didn't know what she was talking about at all but in the debate magically was able to spit out all these words that felt entirely scripted give me a break but i want to be clear this should be a campaign finisher. Kamala is not a competent leader. She can't answer any questions. She's unfairly propped up by the media, a cheater, and a record that only people that research knows. I hope we can all find common sense and tell Kamala to go f*** herself.